I'm Brian Craig, and I'm just reading in the paper today. Here I am, living in sunny South Florida, and it says here in the local paper, South Florida cold front could bring low 50s by Friday night. I thought we were in this age of global warming. Congratulations, you thought correctly. If we're in the age of global warming, why is it in the 50s on Miami Beach? Because it's winter, you fucking moron! Winter! Have you ever fucking heard of fucking winter? Happens every fucking year! Winter! Winter! <sighs> Good fucking grief. You know, I, I hear people all the time on the left, oh, global warming, the ice caps are melting, uh, free, more frequent storms and all this crap. Yes, indeed, people on the left say all that. People on the right also always say all that. People in the center also say all that. Because it's true! All right, let's just face it. Uh, there is no global warming. There is no global warming because it's winter? Of course, anybody and everybody who is not a complete moron can download the data themselves, they can look at the evidence, they can plot the data, they can calculate the slope, which is an incline for global average temperature, and they will see for themselves. Global climate change is an observed fact. It's a liberal urban legend. Just like gravity. Like with a lot of liberal urban legends. You now, I, I tell people all the time, you know, if the polar ice caps are melting. If? You mean tens of thousands of scientists are lying about that? And whoever goes there and actually looks, they're exterminated to keep the secret? And there's global warming. Why last year did it snow in 49 of the 50 states, including Florida? Because it was winter, you fucking moron! Right? Oh, there's more hurricanes, there's more storms. Yes, and both of these events are observed facts. Hurricane intensity is increasing, even as the number of hurricanes remain the same. Extreme weather events are increasing. This is because energy being retained by human-released greenhouse gases put more energy into the climate system. Drier regions are becoming drier. Wet regions are becoming wetter. Record high, high temperatures are increasing. Record low, high temperatures are also increasing. Only the retention of energy by greenhouse gases explains this. This was also expected by the world's physicists for over a century. We live in Hurricane Alley in South Florida, and we haven't had a hurricane in seven years. So you're telling me... You look out your window and it's dark outside, therefore the sun has gone out? Global climate change. Global. Global. The earth is a sphere. It's global climate change. Look out the window and it's cold. Oh my god, global warming has stopped because it's cold outside your window. What part of GLOBAL CLIMATE CHANGE DO YOU NOT UNDERSTAND? There are not more storms. And yet all of the data show that there are more storms. How do you explain that? There's just more news covering storms that never used to make the news before. Oy vey, you know, when a storm slams into Maine 10, 15 years ago, that never made the news, but it is now, because now it's newsworthy. Seriously? You seriously believe that over the past 30 years, very extreme weather events just never made the news, but now they are, because suddenly they're just newsworthy? I, do you really believe that the satellites up there that observe extreme weather events and have been doing so for 31, 32 years, Nobody noticed until just recently? Seriously? Is that really your argument? Nobody just happened to mention it? Really? I tell you, liberals think they're so smart. They're liberals? 
You mean only liberals are out there doing the science? There's, there's no non-liberals out there making these observations? Is that really what you're claiming? Only liberals are intelligent, only liberals are educated, only liberals are out there doing the science, making the observations and reporting them. Only liberals are doing that? Are you sure you really want to make that uh, bizarre assertion? The intelligentsia, as opposed to all these right-wing neocons who are against science. Yes, it is an observed fact that there are a bloody hell of a lot of pseudo-conservatives out there in the United States who are actively and aggressively anti-science. So what? The subject is human-caused climate change. It is an observed fact, has absolutely jack shit all to do with any political uh, left or right or center. Observed reality has no politics at all. The subject. Humans have caused and are causing global climate change. Looking outside the window and saying, golly, it's still cold out there, has jack shit all to do with global warming. Not a goddamn thing. <sighs> Give me a break. You know, if the polar ice caps are melting... If again. An absurd fact. And he says, if. What island is underwater where people used to live? No scientist has made that claim, idiot. Can you tell me one island anywhere in the world where people lived that has been evacuated because the polar ice caps have melted and the sea levels have risen? No scientist said that happened! Why the bloody fuck should anybody show you that when nobody said that's happened? Good fucking grief. Of course you can't, because it have, hasn't happened. Nobody said it did! You know, I remember when Bill Clinton was president, they used to talk about global cooling. No, during the presidency of William Clinton, all of the scientists were talking about global warming. They also noted that if humans had not released greenhouse gases, Earth would have continued to cool over the past 50 or 60 years. That is because all of the data for such things as total solar irradiance was showing that Earth was very, very, very slightly cooling until late in the industrial era, after which this huge, massive increase in global average temperature started to happen. No scientist out there was talking about global cooling. <sighs> Links down below to refute that idiotic and asinine bullshit assertion. Remember that? There was a real cold blizzard year. It was very cold and they were talking about global cooling. Okay, I'll bite. Name just one scientist during the uh, William Clinton administration who was talking about global cooling. Just one. I'll wait. Hello? You still out there? Hello? Just one scientist. William Clinton administration, hello, just one out there, just, just one, I'll wait. Still waiting. Hello? Are you dead? Now all of a sudden global warming, give me a break. It all of a sudden? Scientists have been talking about human caused climate change and human caused global warming since 1873. 1873! The physics were worked out in 1917 by J. Fox, for one. Uh, 1926, the quantum physics involved in human-caused climate change. 1926, by Wolfgang Pauli, back black body radiation. By the 50s... Scientists were telling the United States government that human-caused climate change was a serious threat to national security. More than 60 years ago, 
long before most of us were born. Scientists were warning everybody and anybody who would listen. Human caused climate change is a huge crisis that humanity will face. And at the, mo at the time, in the 50s, they were already seeing it happen. All of a sudden, no! A bunch of nonsense. Liberal, urban legends, and lies. Yes, and even that great liberal Margaret Thatcher in the 70s and 80s was warning people about human-caused climate change and the threat it was to humanity. Liberals like Margaret Thatcher.